Hey everybody, what's up? It's Brandon with Wagstaff Auto Detailing, and I'm here in West Covina, back with another auto detailing video for you guys. Today, we're here to discuss the build of my auto detailing van setup. We're going over the framework and some of the mounting and a lot of the installation. So come with me as I show you guys the shop and some of the fabricators and some of the process to get the van set up going. Before we get started, check out this beautiful wrap on this van. This is one of their promotion vehicles. And this is what they're known for. They're known for having the generator slide out here in the back, the pump here to the left, all the reels on the top. And they make some amazing frames here. People come from all over the United States just to check this place out. I'm lucky to have them right in my backyard. These guys are super busy. They have all these vans to build. And somehow they were able to fit me in today for the last four or five hours of the day and do a bunch of things for my van, including mounting the floor, mounting the hose reel mount, the generator mount, building the divider, putting in the rear door diamond plate panels, mounting the, uh, the, the bottle holder racks, and a bunch of other stuff. Too much to even remember what we're doing today. Here's one of them. They're bending the frame, where the, the, the diamond plate. They're bending it a little bit so it has a nice... Um, cover here like a, a trim so it'll cover the base pretty cool this stuff is not easy to work with and they stripped out the van and here's all my equipment here got my Kranzla the air compressor my generators all of my racks electrical reel, there's the hose reel, air hose reel, water pre uh, pressure washer hose reel, and my VacMaster Beast. And there's my water tank. These guys sure got a ton of vans they're working on. But somehow they multitask and they will fit you in. Okay guys, so, so far this is the progress. This man right here is mounting the hose reels, pressure washer, air compressor, hose reel mount. We are able to bend this trim here and cover that lip. This is the 
custom frame that we built. And here is the vacuum hose reel, 35 feet, waiting to get the doors done. Okay, guys, here's how this is looking. They were able to cut a little bit off of the wood for this four foot length. And with that extra bit of length, they bent over this lip and then they colored this black. And then there's how the wall is looking. And they were able to do the same thing right here too. Looks real nice. They're gonna put some metal straps here. They painted the metal black. So it'll be strapped in with metal straps. And up on the shelf, this is a pressure washer frame that they're mounting to it. Really beautiful. He's working on the hose reel frames. I'll get out of their way. It's looking great. Hey guys, so they worked late into the night last night on my van, so I didn't get a chance to show you the finished results. Um, I brought it in yesterday to get the frame that they fabricated for the van, and long behold, they ended up doing the install and mounting of all the reels and everything for me, and so they worked on it for about 10 hours yesterday. And I'm ready to reveal the finished product. So let's check it out. I'm real pleased with the way it came out. There's still a lot of tweaking left. Um, we have to 
change some things. Um, for instance, this has to be flipped upside down. And we're going to see if we can figure out how to fit some tire brushes somewhere on this wall. And also all of the electrical needs to be done. But I'll give you guys a little brief explanation on everything here. So these are 32 inch, 32 ounce Max Shine bottle holders. I have three of them placed perfectly apart to take up this whole entire door. So I'm going to have to come up with some more chemicals to put in there. Then we have the Max Shine brush holder. I'm going to have to come up with a few bottle hold, uh, brushes for that. And I'll tell you guys the pros and the cons while I'm uh, explaining the this build to you guys, just so you can, you know, be prepared for yours. So here's one. You're supposed to be able to hang some things here. Well, I really can't hang anything there because it won't close. So that may have been bad placement. Um, another thing, guys, be prepared. If you have a Pro Master, they're not able to fit the five bottle holder there. Just like these are five. One, two, three, four, five. So what they do is they customize it and they basically cut one off. And that's how they fit bottle holders on that side. I'm real happy with the way my floor came out. They customized that. Took them a while to actually bend that down. Um, one thing that I wanted, and I guess I didn't stress enough, but I, I did, um, you know, specify this, that I wanted these to be within a millimeter precision next to that, this wheel well. And I wanted this one to be within millimeter precision next to that. That way these can be smushed together and I could fit my bucket here in the middle. Well, I'm super pleased with the way it came out and it looks beautiful, but I won't be able to utilize this space much unless I somehow get a flat rectangular bucket, <laughs> which that's how it's going to happen. Um, these are both Cox reels. This is a Cox reel that is totally um, original from Cox reel. It's a um, PLP 150 P LP. One five zero, and this has a fifty foot hose reel. That's what that one, the fifty on the one five zero mean, and the LP stands for low pressure. It's a low pressure three hundred psi for an air compressor. I believe it comes stock with this Continental hose, and it's all stock. Now, the place that built this for me, this frame, that place, they buy these and they customize them. It's still the same model as this low pressure 50 foot hose reel, but they put a, um, this is like a $175 pressure washer hose. They put that on here. They remove this and then they redo the fittings so it fits a pressure washer fitting. And by doing so, I was able to get two matching black ones. The components are exactly the same. Same spring, same durability, same function. But, and you, you totally can do it. It's just not original. The warranty would probably be null and void now because of them tinkering with it 
but they're both real I, I my color scheme here was kind of like blue and black with the chrome and so i got you know blue and black here i got my black and the blue and i was gonna go with a uh a blue hose reel but that's another i mean a blue electrical reel but that's another story um and this is a 35 foot cox reel for vacuums and i went with the 35 foot because i i felt like i was gonna get more um suction because it would have less hose and i felt like 35 would be enough so another thing guys is that you got to be aware of and you got to specify is you got to know exactly what you want and you got to stress it enough if you're going to have somebody build this for you i wanted this here to be within millimeter precision razor precision i wanted it very very close to give me more space up here do you see how much that is i, I barely maybe fit a shoe box up there and this is a a uh, rack now if we could have utilized this much space along with even the space they have right here we could have opened up that storage area a whole lot better so i may have been able to fit my my polisher bag up there or something or some bends but now i might be able to squeeze in some microfiber towels up here and but those are the two major things that bothered me was that i didn't get this area for my bucket and that that wasn't that big but look at it guys it's showroom quality and this generator slide out is one of my favorite things it is so heavy duty it it's at lee it's rated for you can put a refrigerator on this thing it's insane how, how well built it is look at that the guy was telling me that these rails are good for any slide out so if i ever get different generators and i want to get a different base they'll just build me a new base and they can go right on these rails there's all kinds of shavings everywhere because these guys were drilling grinding fastening and fabricating for 10 hours yesterday just absolute amazing and I, I got to be there the entire time usually you're supposed to drop the van off for a couple days or the whole day you come back but they allowed me to hang out i was sitting in the cab of the van i was sitting behind watching them chatting with them and i was actually helping direct some of the things that i wanted and not only were they like allowing that they were encouraging it they were telling me, Brandon, what do you think of this? What do you think of that? And we still have a lot of things to do. Um, but it's very, very close. And I could actually go to work now. It's, it's functional. We, we tested it out yesterday. We filled up the tank with some DI water and we tested out the water system and it's no leaks, but there's a few things that we have to do. We may build a little wall here, build a little wall there, or we may leave it exposed. I kind of like it exposed a little bit, but we're looking at possibly 
doing some some uh, other shelving and also I'm gonna need to mount this somewhere and possibly another one that'll take out that space set up my little handy dandy magnetic uh, rubber glove holder still gotta run fix something up here have to cut my vacuum and insert it in here it's threaded the tornador here MTM gun. There's the mighty back there. Pressure washer. Now for you guys who saw my uh, video on how to do your own plumbing, we ended up going with a different option here because I took a step back and I actually enlisted their help for a lot of things because I thought that they could do a better job with their tools with bending this, mounting this, mounting this. It's very professional. I was probably gonna use some tie downs. This is a metal strap and uh, I steered away from using the pump for this. This thing needs a, a pump I mean, this thing, I was going to use a pump to, to assist it, but they were telling me that, uh, they were telling me that they were, uh, going to, you know, it's not, not necessary. And, uh, I went ahead and followed their advice and I didn't go with the water pump. So we did the plumbing a little bit different. And I'm telling you guys, the pressure on this system is amazing. The way they did it, I mean, I just, the way I had it set up before, my, my pressure washer was not performing the way it is now. It gave me this little base to secure it. I like that it's blue. My beast vacuum. It's the mighty right here. So lastly, and then I'll close the video out, is we were going to build something for this chief steamer here and build the shelf so now that the back is complete and the middle is complete we were thinking about how we're going to do this end and thinking about possibly doing a two layer shelf here. Something for maybe down here and then put the steamer and they already showed me the shelf and it pretty much connects perfectly right here. You see how when you build it this way, there's a large area left. I 
I don't know how I'm gonna do it guys, but you're supposed to peel this off and it reveals the nice polish, chrome polish underneath, aluminum polish or whatever this thing is made out of. And uh, this is a Chief Steamer 100 and it needs, a, it needs a home. It has no home right now. And neither does that thing. It's actually kind of fitting in the middle of this area with a lot of space. So I don't know, guys. What do you think? What should I put right here? Should I put a couple shelves for more, some openings so I can maybe put some more chemicals in and see if I can crunch in this area a little more? But I was thinking that I want my steamer up here. Okay, guys, that's the end of the video. If you stuck with me to the end, I really appreciate it. Um, thank you for watching. And let me know what you guys think of the setup. And um, stay tuned. We're going to have some new exciting videos coming out shortly. And if you like the video, Please like and subscribe. Any support is greatly appreciated, guys. Thank you so much. See you on the next one.